All right, hello everybody. Um, just want to go over the homework from yesterday, mostly just the code, right? You had to write both the swap code and the find min code. So the swap code, just to give you a visual of what it looks like um, on this first time, if we were running this through selection sort the first time, we would be selecting for position zero and we'd be swapping it with position three. All right, so what that would look like is you need to do a temp variable that would take on the value that we want, which would be array position zero. And then you'd have to set array position zero to be array position three, which would look like this. And then you'd set the min position for this, this position. So array position three would now become the temp variable. All right, so that's what it kind of looks like. Um, and in code from yesterday, if you want to kind of check your answer to that one, um, it looks like this, where you set, we're swapping position one and position two. They're, they're variables that come in, so those would be the indexes. In my example, that would be zero and three. All right, so we set temp to be position one, and then we set position one to be whatever the position two is. And then uh, after that, we set position two to be what we stored in that, that temp variable. All right, and so that should allow us to swap the items. Okay, part two was the find min. All right, so a um, couple challenges here. One, um, we're searching from this position on, right? So normally our loop runs right here from zero all the way less than the length. But um, now we're going to start from whatever position we're on and then one to the right of that. So visually, um, again, like if we, we are done now, Right, we finished the min here. Now we're trying to find the min for this spot. We're only going to search from spots two to less than the length. Right, so it's always whatever position on one more than that, and then go all the way to the end. Right, so that's what you're seeing here is where I is going to start at whatever position we are plus one and go all the way till the end. Okay, so this position um, is a different amount each time this method is called. Right, and, and, and these values are just the the array, right? That's just the array that we see right there, or some other array that passed in. All right, so the other part that's different here is this code, what you see right now, would be to find the um, minimum value, okay? So like, if we were running at this point, we would search the four, five, seven, and nine, try and find the minimum value, and we'd find the four, right? But what we actually want to find is the minimum index. Right, because generally we're going to switch the position we're on with the position of the min, which in this case, they're both one. But maybe if I mess these up or something and say, okay, if we were trying to sort now, we would want to swap position one with position four. Okay, so this thing that finds the min, we don't want to find the min value. We want to find the min index, right? These blue numbers is what we're looking to, looking to find. Okay, so the code I have here, um, this is how you just find the min. We base the min value. You go through and check uh, is the position we're on less than the min. And if it is, it becomes the new min and return the min. But that would return these red numbers, the, the values. All right. And so we want to return the index. Okay. So the right way to do this then is to just do another variable here that keeps track of the min index. All right. And so suppose we could start it off at, let's see, if our min is originally at position, we could say the min index is position. All right, and then uh, down here, when we find that it's less than the min, then we've got to update our min index. So our min index becomes the uh, position we're on, which is I. Right, we're looping through and checking values position i. So that one's less than our min, so that becomes the min index. And then we should return the min index, not the min value. And so it's a little bit different, um, but I think that's the tricky part with arrays. Remember that there's indexes and values. Right? In this case, we want to return the index. All right, I hope that helps. Um, after this, just on to the lesson.